Hi everybody, I'm Sean Govan of Honey Drop Farm. I just wanted to take a moment to share with you the basic idea behind Langstroth equipment. So Langstroth, Lorenzo Langstroth, was an American beekeeper in the 1800s. He's a really smart guy. He came up with the style of hive that's mostly used today, um, especially by those who keep bees for a living, because it's so easy to use and it saves so much time. So before Langstroth, um, basically you put your bees in a box, uh, maybe this size box, and you would just let them build their nest, build their combs, and uh, raise their baby bees in whatever shape of combs that they decided they wanted to build. And that was fine until it was time to harvest the honey because then it got really complicated because you had to often kill the bees uh, with sulfur smoke or um, just completely destroy everything and tear everything apart getting the honey. So the way Langstroth fixed that problem is he came up with a system of boxes with frames, just like a picture frame. Because instead of a picture in the frame that you hang on the wall, he had the bees build their comb in the frame. Um, these frames had honey in them, and that's why they're empty now, but you can see where the comb was attached. You can imagine it full of comb. And um, so these frames are movable, and you just take out your combs, you do whatever you need to do with them. If you have a weak colony and you need to strengthen them by giving them uh, an extra comb from a strong colony, you can do that really easy. Um, these, these boxes, these Langstroth boxes have a rabbit joint right here uh, where you can hang your frames. And there's you can notice there's a little bit of space at the top for the bees to walk around on top of the frames inside their box. There's a little space at the bottom for them to walk around as well underneath the frames. And um, you can, as you can see, the box has no top and it has no bottom. So you can stack it on top of another box which is exactly what I did right here. You have different sizes of boxes and different sizes of frames. There's three main sizes that people use usually. Um, so there's a deep, this is a deep, and there's shallow and medium. And shallow and medium are really, really close. I'm not sure exactly what this is. I'm moving to all deep equipment because when you want to switch frames between boxes it's a lot easier to just have one size. And so that's just the basic idea behind Langstroth equipment. Movable frames. You can have other sizes. This is a small mating nuke, barnyard bee style mating nuke. And it just has two frames in it put some bees in here with a queen cell and then they hatch that queen cell and that queen can go out and get mated and come back and then you have another queen you can give to a colony or that you can sell. This is a five frame nuke box. It's all the same thing, just a place to hang a box that's the right size with a place to hang your frames. The alternatives to Langstroth equipment are uh, if you can imagine just a frame that's that just has the top part, top bar. So if you've heard of a top bar hive, um, it's basically, you can imagine like a trough for giving pigs their food or, you know, for animal food. And uh, a, a, a bar of wood that you just stick on top of that trough and then the trough has a lid, that's a top bar hive. So the bees build their comb on the top bar and then
then they just build it down and it hangs down. And then they attach it to the side, so then you got to cut it off a lot of times when you want to take out a bar and look at it. So it's great. Langstroth equipment and any kind of equipment with movable combs is great for, um, for managing your bees to know what's going on in the hive, if they have a queen or if they're queenless, if they're sick, um, for evaluating how much food they have, if they have enough pollen, if they have enough honey, and um, for just in general being able to take care of them better and to know what's going on inside so you can make rational decisions uh, depending on what your style of beekeeping is. Uh, and kind of a mix between the uh, top bar hive and the Langstroth equipment is a Moray hive. So if you can imagine a top bar hive but in a box like this with top bars and no frames. So then that can get a little complicated, I imagine. I've never seen it, but it's called a Warre hive. W A R R E. And um, it's nice because it's stackable boxes. And um, I imagine it's a lot less practical than these, than this, because you can't, there's no frames. The nice thing about the frames is that the bees can't, they don't attach the comb to the sides and the bottom of the box. Instead, they attach it to the sides and bottom of the frame. So then, you know, there might be a little bit of comb here attaching the frame to the box, but you just take your hive tool or whatever and you pull that frame out and the comb that's attaching the frame to the inside of the box will just break off. Now, if you have just a top bar and you don't cut off the comb that's touching the inside of the box, that's attaching, that's, you know, that's attached to the inside of the box, then you pull that out, it's going to break. Then you have a mess, then you've just wasted some comb, which is really hard uh, and labor intensive for the bees to build. So that's the principle of Langstroth. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.